Hey everybody, welcome to Next Commentary, playing Zoe mid lane against Cassiopeia. <clears throat> she did take cleanse, so... Some people take TP, some people take cleanse. That is a big thing to always think about when you head into a game. When you play Zoe, any champion that has crowd control, pay attention to what they have. Because if she has TP, I know that I can even flash on her to Sleepy to maybe kill her. But because she has cleanse, we know that if I ever land Sleepy, she'll probably pop cleanse as soon as I run close. Which also means that as soon as she pops it, I should run away, because... She'll pop it, I use Q with her, if I overstay, if she pops cleanse immediately while I'm nearby, and then immediately Qs me, I could lose. Let's see if I can find her here. Just get a mana flow stack. So we got one stack of our mana flow there. Oh, there's somebody here too. <clears throat> what, did he hit it? No. So yeah, playing versus Cassiopeia, uh... She has Dark Seal, or not Dark, Dark Seal, she has Dorn's Ring, which means that if she spams her spells level 1 to 2, and I tank it and don't die from it, which is pretty easy to do, but she actually does deal that much damage, um, she'll be Oom um forever, so it might be worth trading very aggressively and just tanking all of her damage. Like, she, I'm fine with her eating me, I'm completely fine with it. She can use it, because I want her to waste her mana, to be honest. I think that, that sounds like a good deal here. Use it between a creep. Unfortunately, I should have used that aiming a little bit easier. That, that was a pretty bad cue by me. I think I should land most of my cues versus this guy. Oh, nice. I was still able to get that one. She's doing a good job of auto attacking me uh, when I go for creeps. So she's not using her E. Which is actually really smart. I'm gonna go W here, actually. So let's try to go for this- okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna try to pretend to go for the creep so she uses her Q. But she actually used it regardless, so I didn't have to worry about it. Look at her positioning in lane. When I am hitting this creep, is she stepping up? No, okay, so, okay, she stepped up a little bit. I thought the range was a little bit shorter than that, but I'm trying to make it so... I don't get harassed when I'm getting these creeps. Like, see how far away she is? So that creep is free, right? Or could have been free, because I missed it. These super tiny things where, like, she's far away and I'm not will make your laning phase so much easier if you can see them. She's super far away. You see how far away she is? So that means I can hit this wave for free, and there's no danger. Because I don't want her to shove me under tower, because that means it could give her a window to roam or something, like, get vision control down deep in my jungle, which I don't want. Now she's looking for harass. See how far up she's playing now? So she's 100% looking for harass here. Now she's backing off, so I walk up to get that minion, because she backed up. Why is she backing up? Probably because the wave was pushing towards her, because I killed all of the melee creeps. I'm not paying attention to that, though. I'm only paying attention to her movement. That's it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it turns out I just need to run away. Feels bad. Oh? This guy's dead. Nice. I don't think there was a way for Cassio to kill me there, because I ran into a brush, by the way. That was the only reason. She could flash auto-attack me, and I probably would have died, but because I was able to flash into the brush, it was too bad for her. And that was just me playing a bit too greedy with my Sleepy, and then getting punished for it. Because I use my Sleepy, she can just run at me now. Because if I miss my ability, and she lands hers, she has crazy consistent damage, right? She's not a burster. It's not like I'm going to get hit by a Cinder EQ and they're going to back off. Cassia will chase you down. I didn't think she'd be able to chase me down completely, though, which is my mistake, I guess, because she has Conquer, not Phase Rush, so I felt safer, but I guess I made a mistake. I guess she actually can chase you down. I'm going to freeze this lane here. Because she's backing for sure. So we're going to freeze it. Because she is ahead in CS right now, by like 11. So this will at least give me back some of that. So I might be only behind by like 3 CS. If I can get all of these. Nice. 
nice. Uh, I wanted the bubble more than getting hit by Rikyo. So you can see now, I'm actually only down a couple CS. So I went from 11 to now, I'm completely even. It's completely even CS. See how important it is to freeze? Because if you freeze, you can get your CS back, right? It looked like I was so far behind, but I'm actually not now. The only thing I'm behind in is she purchased items and I didn't, really. Her item is better purchased than me because my good item would be probably um Lost Chapter or something, most likely. This bard with Mobies is going to roam everywhere, huh? Let's just ward that brush and head back mid. Using portal jump to get wards down is a pretty effective way of getting deep wards without having to like uh, risk it, really. She still has cleanse. One more Q. Okay, she's dead. I was going to say, he could just ulti whenever if she did back up, but he got her, so that was good. Not sure why she didn't flash. She still had it. I thought she was going to flash away there, because it'd be pretty hard to chase her down. I guess I am Zoe. I could just take it away. Maybe that's why she saved it. Maybe she's that big brain. That she didn't panic flash. I wonder if Zach's coming. Let's just shove in this wave, and then we'll reset here. Okay, we're not going to go for the whole entire wave, because I'm a little afraid of Zack. And I have no idea where he is right now. We're So we're going to give up, like, one or two creeps. Aw, that sucks. I'm not going to go for that. I really need to reset here. <laughs> really bad situation to be in because now she's full mana and can pressure me and I can't do anything. I could try to reset right here though. Because it looks like she's maybe roaming bot here, so I immediately reset. Because the wave is still pretty far away. It's not the perfect reset that we want, but it's close enough because she pushed, qu pushed quickly, so it still went under my tower pretty quickly. The reason why I went um, Ruby Crystal here is because I will be going Oblivion Orb after getting my Ludens. So it's not bad to just purchase it. I still have room for a pink ward. That's the thing. And I still was able to purchase one. So. Good poke, good poke. Let's see if we can solo kill her. I think we can. Ah, that's what I wanted. I, I didn't even have Q or anything. I wanted her to cleanse because she was afraid. <laughs> Get debated. Ah, she missed, so I win. Ah. <laughs> She was looking for the ulti. It was pretty obvious that she was looking to 1v1 me. So all I had to do, if I don't get it by the ulti, I win. It worked out. Good solo kill. Let's put a ward over this wall. We can play towards this side because Zach will probably be from bot side because otherwise we would see him, right? It's not always the case, but at least gives a little bit of safety in lane. A little bit. Yeah, we see him. Oh, 
Holy fuck. I'm a smurf. I'm dead. <laughs> no. If that if that was impressive to you, by the way, you have to like it. You cannot lie, by the way. If that was impressive and you thought that was good, then you have to like the video. <laughs> that was because that's not easy to do. You Q, you R, and then you have to get the flash and immediately use your W after. Also, it was really close to creeps. It was kind of luck, kind of skill. 50-50, because it was kind of lucky that the creeps won't, weren't uh, that close. But when it happens, oh man, dude. When you can do that kind of stuff on Zoe, like consistently, it feels so good. That's why I love this champion so much. It's pro like, people, people ask me, I guess, in the past, what is your favorite champion? I think right now, I would say, or at least the past year, I think Zoe is probably my favorite champion. I don't play her all the time, and I do enjoy Raelian Soul. But I guess, if I was like, you have to play one champion for the rest of your league career, I probably would just choose Zoe. I think she's so much fun, and it's because she has that long range poke. And back in the day, I played AP Nidalee, right? So, back in the day when I played AP Nidalee, this feels really similar, right? Because it has the long range skill shots that can one shot people, so it's a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy long range skill shot champions, so I enjoy playing Xerath as well. But it's not really the same feel. I think Zoe has more outplay potential than Xerath, so... Got another plate. Feels good, man. So, Cassio Flash is my timer because we both use it at the same time. So, that is something to think about. Nice kill, nice kill. Oh, she is right there. What the? What are you doing? Get out of here. Ooh, that was close, that was close. Let's see if I can burn out her ulti or something. See, I'm walking close into her... Okay, this is, like, pretty advanced stuff. Like, okay, it's not that advanced. League of Legends is not that hard of a game. Look, you can walk towards someone to bait out Q. As soon as you walk within, like, the range of their abilities, they'll use their abilities. So, like, if I walk towards her, she'll use Q here. Like, around this range. Around right here. See? Because I'm not reaction speeding it. I just know her range very well. Uh, I missed, so I'm just going to need to leave here. I'm going to ignite to get my W proc, so I can run away very quickly. That's the only reason why I used ignite there, because otherwise I was dead. Oh, I suck. They're both dead though, I think. Uh, okay. That wasn't really the cleanest double kill, but I'll take it. My Q was supposed to Cassiopeia there. <laughs> oh yeah. We see where Zack is so we can take this tower. What am I doing? Of course we can take this. I'm trolling. Good call out, teammate. The only danger was Zack coming to stop me and killing me, but we saw that he was top, so... No reason to back off, right? If you know where everybody is and you just killed someone, make sure you're doing something with it. You're only supposed to back off when you're actually in danger. Didn't pay enough to the map there. So I'm really fed this game now. I can just go the uh, double pen build with the Lali Andres. And because I'm fed really early into the game, I'll be able to one shot most of those squishy champions. You can get a feel for how strong you are, more games you play on champions. I know versus these guys like, okay, first level advantage, you can see I already have big level advantage. So I know if I land Sleepy versus any of these people, it's almost a guaranteed one shot. Just with EQ, maybe auto attack. Without Ignite. With Ignite, 100%. Without Ignite, 90%. Depends on how long the Q is. Depends if I get Electrocute proc as well. The Electrocute proc is actually one of the deal breakers for it. <clears throat> Oh, I tried to predict her. Ooh, I predicted that one. I predicted that one. Is she going to try to fight me? 
Oh, okay. I see you. I see you. I see why. I see why you're trying to fight me now. Okay, bot lane's dead. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I don't know where Bard is as well. Where is Bard? Hey, we found him. We found him. I feel like they're just like trying to get mid because bot lane just seems doomed at this point. That's that's what it feels like. So if I actually try to go aggressive here, uh, okay. If you're getting ganked by like somebody like Bard or Zac, it's super dangerous to use your R because imagine. Like, I, I still want to harass this guy. I wanted to there. But she's not really playing aggressive. But let's say she was playing aggressive. If I use my ulti at her, Bard can ulti where I'm at to kill me. So you have to be super careful about that. Is Bard going to run back through here? We saw him running down through the river. It'd be a perfect opportunity. Darn. I think he it might be warded. He still has ulti, so this is the point where if I use my R, he's going to ulti me. I'm just going to go bot side here. So Bard might be this way. I know that there's a ping inside this brush, so I'm not going to clear it. I'm just going to run straight bot, because if I start clearing that, I will get boned. Get the one shot, get the one shot. Guys, if you don't like this video, <laughs> oh my god, what did I just do? I just smurfed all over everybody's faces. <laughs> that was so aggressive. Oh my gosh, I am popping off. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> okay, the reason why I bought, um, Soul Stealer on Zoe here is because when you already have 10 sack Dark Seal, I just like upgrading it to get the movement speed, especially on Zoe, because you can catch out people because you're so fast with your W passive, right? Some champions, I don't think use it very well, like Syndra or Yana, sometimes it's kind of hard to defend it, but Zoe, I feel like it's better with her than other champions. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so fed at this point that, okay, so how I play Zoe is you don't just play with your team. You look for a good sleepies, like from good angles. That's what I'm looking for. The angles where I think that they don't have vision. That's why I put vision here to see if there's a pink ward in there or something. I'm looking for those angles. Fuck. I meant to use this. Huh. Because I normally have it on my two key. Huh. I'm not used to having stopwatch this early as well. Please don't unlike it because of that. <laughs> Dude, what is what is this guy doing? Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're just baiting him in there, man. I see you, I see you. Oh, that would have actually killed her if she didn't heal there. Oh, Karthasar? No, he's not using it. It's already too late now. He should have used it earlier. Uh, that didn't go over the wall. Oh, that didn't kill. I thought I would get like electrocuted or something there. Sad boys.
I won't be able to really chase that, so I'm just gonna harass other people. I'm not gonna like kill myself because that would that would put me into a dangerous situation without flash. At least this other one, I use flash to get the sleepy off, right? So, do my team. I'm not gonna use my ulti here because I feel like yeah, this guy's gonna flash on me. Actually, I'm just dead. That that guy is ridiculously strong. Good thing I still have my 10 stack. Oh no. Is he gonna kill him? Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> okay, actually, we just gave up a lot of gold there. So we could lose this game. So I, I just need to finish my Zhonya's. Because that will give me the benefit of Zhonya's when Vladimir ultis me. That's that's what I was really missing there. And I used it earlier, right? I met, made a mistake. Oh. What? <laughs> My team's so good. <laughs> oh, the bard has no stun. Bard has no stun. Okay. Never mind. He got crit to death. That was pretty disgusting damage. I think I'm going to go double defensive this game. So I'm going to go Zhonya's and Banshee's. Maybe. We'll see. If I back with enough to buy a needlessly large rod, I might go death cap instead. If I back enough for Fiendish Codex, this is after Zhonya's, by the way, then I will... Um, finish that. Why does that guy have a serrated dirk? Is that really what people build? Okay, we do have my flash now. And Vlad used his flash, which is, you know, a pretty good timer to think about, so him not having flash is really big for us. Because there's nobody in here, I can check it and clear this vision control because that's what I really want right now. Ah, whatever, I'll just use Ignite to damage this deck a little bit. Looking for those sleepies, man, that's all I'm doing. Looking from sleepies from walls. Okay, we can go for this dragon now. So dragon's coming up, we have pretty good vision on it, so we can just grab it. Because they're all playing towards the top side, so if they do contest, they're walking into us, which is super risky, right? You see how the poke, when they're walking towards us? Of course, they probably weren't going to in the first place, just because, like... Damn it, dude. That would've been a really good kill. Cassio just pushed top, so Darius is catching top now. Darius has no TP. It's possible that Cassiopeia could come mid here. So it is a little risky. So I am going to back off a little bit because I feel like Zach's going to look for an engage. Good poke, good poke. This is not a bad situation to be in. Oh. I'm turned around, so... Wait, am I actually... Okay, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. I was shocked that I got stunned there. I thought that I was facing the other way out of the portal jump, but she must have casted it before then, so... Oh, she's gone. Let's just grab this heal. We can also grab all these. Refresh the flash. She has Banshee, so she's actually pretty tanky. Alright, alright. Oh... See, like, it doesn't really do that much damage. I also need a Void Staff this game, so probably not going to go double defensive. It's not really worth it. Nice. Good kill. Good kill. Oh, this guy's going to come for me? Really? Okay. We're still fine. We're still fine. We're still fine. Play it slow. Play off Sleepy. Oh, we're not playing slow. We're not playing slow. Play off of the sleepy boys. Play off of the sleepy. Nice try, nice try. Oh, I missed everything, dude. This guy has no flash, so we know that he can't just jump on us. He can use protobolt, but it's not going to be enough. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna reset here. We have pretty big cash, right? So they they do have some strong members on their team, to be honest. So I'm gonna go void staff now. Actually, believe it or not, it's I think it will be best. They do have some tanky members with the Cassiopeia that I do need to kill and the Zac. So maybe other people will get it too eventually, but it's only them to have magic exist. Oh, close, close. I have redemption here, which is kind of nice as well. I think Vlad Flash is coming back up. We didn't really time it when he used it on me. I should have probably timed it as well. I don't really time much when I'm doing commentating because it's pretty difficult to do. Even his talking and playing is kind of hard. I need to get her Banshees, man. Hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. I'm not dead. I am alive. I am alive. Oh my gosh. Did we get the Baron? We did. Nice. Okay, Bard's the only one alive. I still have Zonnies here, so we can chase him if we really want to. Try to make a play happen. Nice try. Uh, looks like he just backed off. Okay, we can just get this inhib most likely before anybody comes back up. So, auto attack, auto attack, auto attack. Oh. No. Okay, the bard's 1v9. At least that was like a pretty small shutdown. Kind of sucks that we lose all of our barons though, because he was the last person with baron. I'm so close to Void Staff, that's what I really want. So I'm just going to sit on my items. I'm not going to finish the Morellos yet. I should have been expecting the Bard ulti, to be honest. I had a feeling it, it was coming, but I didn't expect it from here. I expected it from base. So that's what I was really looking at, so... I had the right mindset, but just I should have probably re respected that it could be from behind me as well. If we lose this game, it's because they outscale. Because Darius is not very strong compared to Vlad. Vlad is a 1v9 champion and Darius is not. <laughs> nice, nice. That's worth it, I think. Trading his life for Dragon is definitely good. Because uh, now we have the Dragon Soul. And they're not going to get much from that death as well. That's the whole reason why it's worth it. One death doesn't mean we lose, like, inhib or anything. They are, actually can't really pressure anything yet. Uh, okay, so I have my Void Staff now. I just didn't want to be farming alongside all of my leaners here. What are they doing? They need to just not step up so hard. Oh. So the guy's trying to fight. Kind of... S it was close, I guess. I didn't expect him to try to actually fight him, though, because I definitely feel that Vladimir wins 1v1s, to be honest. Hmm. What can we do? Caitlyn's not here. Maybe uh, Zach is taking these. Hey, I hit someone. Wow. Okay, so that was Bard because he used Portal. I had a feeling it was Bard. There would be nobody else inside that brush, really. I need Death Cap now, just for more damage. I'm not. If I go double, oh wait, yeah, I have to sell Magi's. That's right. I was like, why am I almost full items? So Death Cap next. Just so I have a bunch of AP, so I truly can one-shot, like, Vlad, or, uh, Caitlyn, or Bard. Those are the main targets. Cassiopeia is not really able to, because, you know, 
She has that Banshee, she has that Cleanse, so... Grouping with the team now. We pushed bot a little bit. Um, Alright, this is catching top, so we do have to be a little bit careful here, because Bard can ulti us. Everybody is missing on their map. So that's why I'm trying to use this really far away. It's still a little scary to do that, but thankfully no nothing happened bad. Okay, we can use this to get vision. That was not a good... It, it should have went this way. Let's see if there's one here, maybe. Ooh, there is. Nice, nice. So we can grab that. So we're trying to split push. Okay, okay. There's no way for Darius to join us. If Vladimir does TP, it will be a 4v5. That is something to always think about. Or if Vladimir's already here, because Darius is bought and nobody's here, right? So I don't want to get flanked. That's why I'm sitting in this position right now. I don't want Vladimir to walk behind us. That would be I mean an automatic loss, almost. Okay, so now we can start pressuring on this wave. And the guy bot has to play safe now. Bard is so good at catching out people. I don't know if this is the most optimal play. Nice. We got a lot of good stuff there. She still has Zhonya's, no? Oh, never mind. She doesn't, but she somehow survived that. Wow. That's impressive. I think uh, we're going to get Zach. No? No Zach. Nice, Darius actually beat him bot. Okay, that actually means an automatic win. We, we should be able to win the game now. Oh. Caitlyn should die here. No? No die? No die, Caitlyn? It was close. That was a bit bad R, by the way. I'm pretty lucky that I survived, I suppose. I probably should have used it less aggressive. I think we're going to get ultied by Bard soon. Okay, so now we're going to go for Baron. <sighs> we got all of their towers. That doesn't mean anything, though. If, if we, like, die at Baron or anything, it could be really, really bad. If I ignited her there, she might have died. Ah, oh, that's really bad that I missed that. Oh, we should be okay here. We can just back off. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'll just have, have to flash then. What happened? I'm so confused, actually. What? How does he know that I'm here? This bard's actually 1v9. Okay, they got Baron, but that's fine. I think that fight was bad. I, I should have been able to kill Caitlyn there. I needed to play more aggressive on her, like just literally flashing on top of her or something. We can steal this maybe with my Q too. Uh, Vladimir is dead, which is huge, by the way. If I ever land a Sleepy on her, she should just die. Also, we have, uh, like, a lot of good ultis, and it's 4v3 right now, too. Like, we have numbers advantage. So if we just play together, we should win. I'm hoping I'm not gonna run into a sudden Cassiopeia. That's it. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, never mind. We're good. Okay, just finish the Elder. My team is like... Oh, okay, never mind. They're gonna kill everybody. We could probably just end the game off this. We don't even need the Elder, but we'll just take it anyways. Wow, game was a lot harder than... It needed to be, but... At least we were able to pull through and not get tilted and suddenly lose. After... After some mistakes. 
To be honest, our team comp's pretty garbage. <laughs> Darius, Karthus, Zoe. Like, how do we even start team fights? <laughs> Us getting engaged on is the beginning of the team fights. Pretty funny. Oh, we're actually not gonna be able to just end the game. We should take triple inhib here then. Nice, nice, nice. She's dead. No, I'm gonna die too. The Darius? Yeah, that guy's dead. Alright, we can win the game now. Dude, Vlad literally, when I have no flash or anything, what am I supposed to do? That's why I was nervous about losing this game, right? That guy is 1v9. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the plays, learned something about playing versus people and learning how to dodge skill shots and stuff. I will see you guys next time. And if you enjoyed this video and haven't already, also subscribe.